Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we're going to be looking at a very specialist bit of kit. This is a Gonio photometer. In particular, this one is the Rowpoint IQ. Um, we're going to be talking about why this tool is a very, very handy thing for looking at certain areas of surface appearance and why that's relevant to both how you detail a car and some of the detailing products that you use. <laughs> Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel guys. So we are talking about this Gonio photometer in this particular video and what this is kind of, what this does and what why it's useful if you're interested in detailing. So you may have seen some of my videos where I've been comparing detailing products. One of the things I've been looking at is measuring gloss. Um, now gloss is the amount of kind of light that is reflected off a surface via what is transmitted. So a gloss meter sends light and it measures the amount of light it gets back and it can measure the amount of deterioration or less light and then come up with a figure on gloss. Now, as, as other people have mentioned when I've been using my gloss meter, there are three different kind of angles that gloss meters can use to measure gloss. One that's for low gloss, one that's for medium gloss, and one that's for high gloss. The 60 degree is the standard gloss meter, which is decent for reading gloss between around sort of 10 to 70 units of gloss. When you go above 70 units of gloss, um, you need ideally a gloss meter that that sends the light at a 20 degree angle so you can get a more accurate real reading of higher gloss. So the first thing about this uh, Rowpoint IQ is it's a dual band gloss meter that has the ability to measure medium gloss and high gloss. As well as being able to snapshot a 20 degree and 60 degree gloss reading, this device is called a Gonio photometer, and I hope I got that pronounced correctly, because it also measures a load of other things, guys. Let's go through what else it measures. It also measures something called DOI or RIC, and we'll come back to that in a second. It measures something called haze or log haze, and it measures something called RSpec. DOI and RIC is a measurement of the waviness or distortion in the, on the, of the reflected image of a surface. So they're essentially two different standards, if you like, of measuring the same thing. DOI is one standard and RIC, um, reflected image quality, is the other. Reflected image quality is the one that you're advised to use and it's supposed to give you a better representation with higher gloss of the waviness of that particular reflective image. Why is looking at waviness or distortion of, of importance to anybody? And how is this thing able to measure it? That is the thing that really threw me how can it look at an image and know how distorted it is? Um, and that, that took me a little bit of time to get my head around. The reason it's able to do it is because it, it, it knows the angle of all these different light beams that it sends down. And then when it picks those light beams up and measures them, it's able to see where they fall. So it can measure a change in the reflected angle, tiny changes, um, and then calculate that for the whole area that it scans and give you a reading on distortion or reflected image um, quality, which is incredible. In particular detailing, that is relevant to, uh, the most common thing is orange peel in a surface where the surface isn't level, so the reflective image is all kind of um, distorted and knobbly, if you like. Um, so this machine is able to measure that. The next thing that this machine is able to measure on the surface is haze. So, you imagine if you've got a beautifully clear panel and you kind of, you wet sanded that, that's going to introduce hazing, or you used a very opaque, murky product that was all over the surface, that would introduce hazing. But again, with detailing, you're looking to deliver a surface with as little haze as possible. And this machine has the ability to measure it. So that's very relevant when, when you're offering, offering kind of wet sanding services to a car and you can go around and check your work and make sure you've got all the kind of sanding haze out of the finish. So it's like a, it's able to measure that and give you a sanity check. Finally guys, R-Spec. This is a bit like a precise, narrower kind of bandwidth in my limited understanding of this. 
gloss reading. So in simple terms, this very sort of narrow bandwidth um, look at gloss is able to pick up texture that a normal wider kind of gloss reading that this machine also takes isn't able to um, pick up. Now, you've got to use these machines as well to build up what's normal within whatever you're measuring. But with R-Spec, ideally, the R-Spec reading should be as close to the high gloss 20 degree reading that you get. So say if you're measuring something with 80 units of gloss and you've got 79.9 units of R-Spec, that's a very positive kind of result. The lower the R-Spec gets in relation to that high gloss reading, then the more um, fine surface texture you've got in there that can't normally be picked up in the gloss readings. So these Gonio photometers or gloss meters guys, they sound very specialized and you'd think there'd only be like a handful of sort of professors and people up and down the country using them. But these are actually used in kind of research and development for any industry that is kind of creating a surface where they're interested in surface appearance. When you suddenly think about that statement, the amount of kind of businesses which rely on delivering you things with a good finish is huge. And then suddenly you realize why these, these pieces of equipment are kind of so widely used in, in research and development. So as well as all the research and development function guys, these are creeping the way into the arsenal of some high-end detailers. Now, they're not gonna be, very few normal detailers are gonna have these because they're expensive bits of kit. But so there's some high-end detailers out there that, that will spend the money. And one of the things that they invest in is the multi-layer um, paint depth gauge, which allows you to look at the primer, the base coat, and the uh, amount of clear coat, and do a survey on the car before you do the machine polishing, and do a survey on the car after you're doing the machine polishing, and you can give that as part of your service. It's obviously going to take you a little bit of time to do. But that kind of information on paint depth is more useful and more important really to the guy doing the work and less important to the customer. But what perhaps is more important to the customer is the state of the paintwork overall in the car when it comes in and then the, the final finished level um, of, of surface appearance that you're delivering as a detailer. And this device is able to measure it. If you're providing flattening services on a car that's maybe been resprayed and it's covered in orange peel, you are now able to measure that level and then prove to the customer when you've done that work that you have got the clear coat, the, the waviness and distortion out of the clear coat to a certain acceptable level. And you can also demonstrate to the customer the level of gloss that you have provided on the car and you, where you've delivered that gloss in the survey. So you could publish it, you know, you could take a certain amount of readings on the bonnet, wings, you know, and kind of um, rear sections and roofs and build up a picture of what you have delivered. And that to me is something that I think is going to become more and more important, especially with high end detailing where you're working on cars that are very, very valuable and you're spending perhaps as long as it takes to respray a car, just enhancing, you know, bringing back the finish, you know, taking out defects, correcting the paint, and polishing up to a very high gloss level. So it's the guys that are perhaps doing that um, that will also be interested in these particular devices because of how well they are able to measure gloss, how accurately, how they can record it, and all of the other things that they can measure. What are the other features on this, guys? Well, primarily the device is very simple to use. You turn it on and start up, and then it detects whether it's got the calibration plate attached to it or not. If it hasn't, then you can just take readings on the previous calibration. If it has, it will ask you to either take a calibration or just do a measurement, so you don't have to calibrate. But Rowpoint advise you should calibrate this at the start of the day, at least once per day, and then you're, you're good for that entire day. No, I talked about the bit of plas plastic acrylic in the other gloss meter. This has got a piece of like glass uh, or kind of marble or something. And the calibration plate comes with a certificate that is signed to guarantee you the, the, um, the gloss that is on this plate. Because that is the most important thing. If the calibration plate is cheap and, and, and rubbish, then your whole machine's gonna be kind of off. There are quite a lot of other functions on this machine, but the thing to take away, it's still a turn on machine and a bit like a point and go camera. It is ready to use and you can either calibrate the plates on there or just start using the machine 
and start taking readings immediately just by pressing the centre button. It does a measurement and then gives you all five of its readings. And then you just keep repeating measurements. And all of those measurements by default are in a batch and you see a little number N in the top right hand corner which clocks up another set of readings. So you generate as many readings as you like in a particular batch and then you can save off that batch and start a new batch which is really useful. So I could do one particular batch for one particular product and another one. At the end of that, taking all of my readings, I can export them and then I can chuck that data straight into Excel, for example, if I wanted to kind of manipulate it and do, do strange things that, you know, a spreadsheet gives you the freedom to do. Or you can use row points, kind of analytical tools that have been developed, obviously, to work with this tool and they'll install on your PC and you can plot stuff on graphs as well and, and, and overlay all the different kind of batches and get different kind of um, views on all of your data. So a final summary guys, this, this bit of kit, this Rowpoint IQ dual band Gonio photometer, you know, primarily a research and development tool, but also a kind of quality measuring tool, a surface quality measuring tool that beyond just detailers using it for um, kind of, you know, measuring results when you're doing kind of high end detailing, for me, as a detailing channel, the ability to look at products more accurately and do a whole load of videos, you know, I can do a video comparing old, old school glazes with kind of silica primers and see what those kind of results are in terms of the surface performance and, and how that kind of fares long term. And now look at things like kind of um, hazing as well. Um, I can get much more accurate results when I'm going to be doing product comparison tests than just using a 60 degree very cheap gloss meter with all those kind of limitations. Um, I am going to also be able to sort of do more debunking videos, things like which machine polisher has the ability to finish down better and explore that because I can now measure it accurately. Um, the list of stuff that this is going to be allow me to do as a channel is massive. So um, this is going to be a really important part. And also measuring ceramic coating performance, guys. That's that's the one where where I was having trouble because I was doing readings over three months and not being able to back compare. Um, so I could only ever compare within a one set of readings. So like I say, this is going to give me a hell of a lot of capability um, and that's going to be really good for the quality of the information that I put out there going forward. So this is a fantastic machine. This is the Rowpoint um, IQ. Goni photo meter, Gonio photo meter. Very hard to say that, guys. So you can think of it as a gloss meter, but I don't want to call it that because it, it, they sell normal gloss meters, but it is so much more, and it is a very, very sophisticated bit of kit. If you are interested in this and you're a professional detailer, like I say, Rowpoint have lots of information on their website. You can look at some of their other products. They have a tri-band one that's also good for measuring kind of gloss on... Um, matte surfaces, very low gloss, and they have some other bits of equipment that are very complicated and I'm not going to try and explain because I don't understand them. But I'll put the link in the description and you can check out Rowpoint's website and read up on some of that information if you are interested as a professional detailer in um, getting one of these. So thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you soon on the Forensics Detailing channel. Bye for now. Where was I when you